Well, there you go. That was a beautiful leisurely drive from um, in the rocks where we were. Um, I don't know what we've done in kilometres. It was, it was over 100 k's. Filled up at the roadhouse just up the road. And this place, uh, Albert Togolini um, rest area, uh, lookout, uh, much closer than I thought it was. It didn't take us long from the roadhouse. And uh, here we are, set up, overlooking the gorge. The gorge and the, the road coming up through here. We, we, we will hear trucks powering up through there, I'm sure, through the night. But um, small price to pay to have a view from our veranda. <laughs> our porch and the home, motorhome looking straight down that valley it's beautiful there's um, plenty of parking up here there's plenty of parking um, in a, a big area just to the, uh, the left of the van there and there's more lots and lots of parking apparently you can go way up the hill here but I'm not going to challenge it too much with that uh, van of ours and turning around and things I'm happy where I am here and it's a quick getaway down the hill into Dale at Karajini tomorrow so there you go, our view for tonight, our view for the morning, it's a lovely spot. Road that goes up the back there. Another guy got a nice varnish point there. I don't know how many more varnish points, but I say you can go for a long way back there. And, uh, there's a, a little gorge or a gully. That's where we started. End of a pretty exciting day. Choose just practicing some nice little sunset shots with a camera. Alrighty, up early this morning, big day, heading to Dale's campground area, going to go and do uh, circular pool, fern pool and fortescue pool, that's the ones, so we're going to go into the unknown, so uh, we've got a beautiful morning to rise up to, somebody's already left the camp so they're on their way, we wanted to get away early as well, so that we can, it would love to have stayed here, oh last night was brilliant. Sitting back in the old uh, layback chairs there, just gazing up at the stars, real nice. And uh, yeah, as I said, we'd, we'd love to stay, but uh, got to move on. So it's been grand. This was uh, Albert Togolini rest stop. Highly recommended. Nice, nice work. Plenty of room too. On our way. All right, I'm going to do a video of this. This one's taken quite a bit of study and I'm still none the wiser. But we're at Karajini National Park. And uh, yeah, the sign obviously self-explanatory. We are here 
and um, we're going to go off to the falls over there and then later on visit the visitor centre. So coming back over here, but, uh, we can get holiday passes, unlimited entry to all national parks of WA, so five days, 25 bucks, four weeks, 60 bucks, annual park, local park pass, well we don't get that. So, onwards, right behind me, yep, the car park for, um, what's the first book, Fortescue, Fort Fortescue Falls, and um, just behind me over here is the campground, and further out in the direction of the sun is going to be, you could drive to Circular Pool. It's a bit nippy this morning, it's only about 14, 15 degrees, so, uh, We'll see how we go. I said to Jude, we'll, we'll go down. It's only 800 metres down to the um, Fortescue Pools downstairs. And I said to her, I said, um, it's too cold. We'll just actually go and do the walk. And we'll see how we feel when we get back. And whether we need to swim. So yeah, on our way. Alrighty, so that was our plan there. So we're car park, gonna walk down to Fortescue. Fern pool. Oh, 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 here we go. Look at that. Oh, the sun's on the water, it should be fine. <laughs> Halfway down the gorge, and already some awesome colours and rock structures. I wasn't too sure about having a swim, but somebody's down below there just braved it. You know what they say sometimes it's warmer in the water than it is outside, so uh, who knows. Big squealing, squealy sound, and we looked up and saw all these bats. I think they told us to be a little quieter, please. We're trying to get our sleep. So, change of plans. This is a little cool, although we've met some brave people already that have been in the pools. Both of them actually up here at Fern Pool, and they've just finished up here in um, Fortescue. So, we just um, taking their advice and going up to Fernpool first. That little squealing that you hear is a big bunch of bats up on this tree over up here somewhere, if I'm pointing to it correctly. There we go. <laughs> Excuse me for being puffed, I'm out of shape. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to go up to uh, Fernpool. She says 
a little bit warmer up there so we'll do that one first and then walk down and then we'll be ready for the cooler Fortescue pool. Um, further down I believe is Circular Pool. Sounds a little bit more of a harder mission to go to and um, I'm going to probably elect not to go to that one. Don't wanna, I'm not adequately dressed as far as footwear goes for that. So we're going to give the uh, this next pool a go. It's not far up from um, Fortescue. Now this one definitely looks inviting. This is Fern Pool prettier than expected and it's bigger than expected too so definitely going to climb into this one and enjoy it. Here we are, Fortescue Falls in Dales Gorge. Lovely day. Looking forward to the swim. It's a little bit colder, isn't it, Dean? Here's an interesting scenario, Jude's putting her phone down on the rock and uh, this goes to show how much ironstone's in there because it's quite magnetic. <laughs> That's how magnetic the ironstone is, it holds on to your phone, pretty amazing. <laughs> Alrighty ho, so there we have it, Fortescue Pools, and then we walked up to Fern Pool. 
we've got a change of plans. Um, we're not going to do the, the walk inside the gorge, um, but we're going to go back to the information centre and probably move on to Hammersley if we can. But now I'm hearing that the Hammersley road from here is, I've got to go a long way to, uh, to do it. I don't really want to travel too far, but we'll go and get some information. Alrighty, we're at um, the Karajini Visitors Information Centre. Certainly a nice place to come and visit. It's really nice. The building sort of inset into the, the hills there uh, and looks like a bit of ironstone rock. So you've been to the Information Centre and um, yeah, erring on the side of caution. 42 k's, unsealed road. I'm not going to put the van through that um, or us through it being squeaky and bumpy and lumpy and yeah, don't want to rattle things to bits. So, um, save it for another time, Hammersley. So we're going to go um, probably down to Tom Price, That's some uh, wiki camp advice. And um, even if we just tootle down, there was one park down by Tom Price, I think it was Shazzes and Dazzes or something. I'll go down and have a look at that and see what that looks like. It's no shortage of wiki camp camps to stay. There's just places to go and visit, which would be nice. But yeah, this, hey, what we saw with the pools, not knocking them out, that was gorgeous. Um, so Fortescue and Fern Pools were absolutely lovely. The walk nice and easy in and out. Get the van in and out easy. And um, yeah, good trip. And, uh, we'll uh, toodle on a bit further. Gonna have a look in now. Get back to you soon. Well, what do you know? What a day it has been today. And it's still only early, We've, uh, it's only about uh, 1 o'clock. Togolini to Karajini, that was a nice easy ride. Um, and from, I think that was about, say, 45, 50 k's. And then it's been about 90 odd k's from Karajini to this spot here, which is um, Shazzes and Dazzes. Another day. Another adventure continues. Thanks to Jude, she's got the van off the chocks and uh, doing a good job putting everything all away for me. Trained her well. Oh, just noticed a, a train over here leaving. How's that? You know, I never heard a train all, all, all night. In fact, it was a, it was a bloody nice night here. Um, right on the corner, I was expecting the worst as far as um, truck traffic and our train traffic uh, and yeah, was, it was a lovely spot here at uh, I think it's uh, Chazzes and Dazzes or Dazzes and Chazzes. <laughs> it's right on the corner um, one way to Tom Price the other way to Parapadu. So that's in the direction we're heading and where we're going to go and get some, uh, some water find a dump station and uh, head uh, back towards the coast and uh, find a spot with we had reception here but Jude had reception on the computer, but we had no reception on phones or tablets and things, so really weird. To um, see what's uh, in Carnarvon and what's to see and do and look at some of the accommodation prices and things and see what we can book. So uh, that's what we've got to do, but in the meantime, we've got about, I think it's 660 odd k's from here to Carnarvon, so. Oh well, we just left uh, Dazzes and Shazzes and uh, we're at a uh, a nice little stop here, Parapadu. Parapadu. Nice little town. It's um, predominantly uh, probably uh, fly in, fly out, drive in, drive out um, workers for the mines and uh, about here. Um, so, yeah, heavily set up accommodation, um, box for them. <laughs> Went past the airport and nearly every car was a white car with a, with a uh, a light on top <laughs> with um, ID numbers on the doors so uh, very very few tourists or uh, locals around but um, yeah good good place to um, stop here we've just uh, watered up and use the bathrooms and there's a dump site just down the road we'll use that to get rid of that lot um, one interesting um, one interesting fact here at uh, Parapadu excuse me on that word one interesting fact here is this is the birthplace of uh, I think it's the Red Dog, which uh, was uh, made famous with a movie. 
Um, the, the dog was actually born here apparently about 1971 or something and um, cottoned onto a bloke that was traveling around in bits and pieces and the dog went everywhere where he did and um, let the cat out of the bag but uh, pretty sad the, the resting place of the dog's not far from here I think a place between uh, I think it was Roburn and uh, Cossack or something like that which is uh, up on the coast area but uh, yeah nice little spot here to stretch the legs there's a gas station here we've got enough gas to run through we're going to go through yeah go through to the the main road probably do a stop before there and then a couple of stops dude's just booking in right now using some good uh, cell phone and Wi-Fi coverage to um, book our next accommodation which we're looking at in um, Carnarvon so there you go a quick little uh, rundown the uh, original man meaning of the word here was a pipa, pipa paradu was meaning meat and feathers in reference to the abundance of white cockatoos in the area oh this looks good I think it's about 100 k's away from um, where were we, the uh, Par Parapadu, Parapadu I think it is, um, Beasley's rest area, so there, there is actually a rest area if you turn right, I saw this little gravel pit on the left so I thought yeah that looks, that looks nice, I'll park here at the gravel pit, a little, little close to the road but bugger all traffic, man we saw one of them big walking dragon things, Jude put a name down below what it was, <laughs> it was massive, actually two, driving along and I thought oh yeah skid marks in the distance but the skid marks are moving and go like whoa it looks like a snake no hang on this has got little legs so yeah it would have been would have been as long as the the front of the, the motorhome there but uh, plenty of distance nice straight road I was able to pull a well actually that one there I was able to stop and uh, do took a photo out the window and then the second one we saw saw him crossing he managed to go to the right and go past him nice straight road safe to do so indicated because there was a bloke behind me too so so uh, I could have missed him, he could have run over So it looks like a nice uh, a nice night sky, sky going to be here. Um, good sunset, sun over that way. So I've uh, got the awning out, go and, um, got to go and hang some washing on the awning so that'll dry from uh, this morning. And get the uh, the solar out so we can keep the battery going. I think we've got a nice pie in the oven that we've been, uh, oh, we've been traveling, a little 12 volt uh, travel buddy type thing. And uh, should be nice. I'll show you that one day. Anyway, um, yeah, that's enough driving for today. Sit back, relax, enjoy the sun. Another day, another move on. It was a great stop here. Um, I think it was Bleakley's Rest. Um, nice and quiet. Uh, great night sky. Moon never came up until real, real late. Uh, so heaps of shooting stars, heaps of satellites, lots of little big flashes and things. So it was pretty neat. Good barbecue and uh, real good night's um, sleep, good night's rest. There was very little um, uh, traffic noise. 